Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Market Focus Fundamentals on the 9th of January 2012. Um, may I wish everyone a happy new year. Uh, this is our first uh, Market Focus uh, Fundamentals of the new year. So uh, let's see what we've got to look forward to this year. Um, well, Friday and last week was fairly tame as the first full trading week back after the, the Christmas and the New Year's festivities. Um, it's been a fairly flat sort of a start to the to the year, but obviously on Friday we had uh, some very uh, good news uh, in that uh, there was a net 200,000 jobs that were created in the non-farm payroll figure, uh, and the unemployment rate also fell to 8.5%. Uh, consensus for the net job increase of 150 in December and the rate of unemployment uh, were, was 8.7. Uh, uh, those were the actual consensus according to Reuters. So we beat uh, the numbers on uh, all hands up really on Friday. Uh, unfortunately, the market really didn't react as uh, many of us possibly thought, especially, I mean, obviously ADP number came out uh, miles better than the actual consensus. And following up, obviously, as I mentioned, the non-farm payrolls, you would have thought that Dow and uh, a lot of the other bosses would have just been uh, rocketing up. But uh, in fact, it sort of uh, ended up a bit of a damp squib last week. Um, mainly uh, for the bulls out there, uh, the looming shadow of the Eurozone is still a bit of a, a spectre, and obviously that's going to be here to remain, really, I think, uh, throughout uh, uh, the remainder of 2012. Uh, the Eurozone concerns uh, really were down to the Euro, which uh, on Friday it breached uh, the 127 level for the first time since uh, September 2012. Uh, and in late trading in New York, uh, obviously the market... It, w it wasn't really helping. Uh, it hit a low of 127.21, and it's not helped by the news that the German industry orders were down 4.8% in uh, November. Adding to that, Italian 10-year yields also considered a, a proxy for broader market angst rose to a, a high of 7.13%. So obviously the, the problems in Europe are still ensuing, although the raft of data that we're seeing out of the US it seems to be very good. And uh, obviously we've, we've seen this... Um, this rise in recent weeks, especially as we came into Christmas, somewhat really stalled at current time. So uh, as we move along into this week, I'll just pop open uh, the, the calendar for you. Data from uh, from the heart of the Eurozone will uh, hopefully shape the sentiment of this week. And um, neither the, the ECB or the Bank of England are expected to, to announce fresh stimulus. Um, obviously, Thursday is a key, a key uh, area which uh, a lot of the uh, traders will be looking at. But the ECB seems almost certain to leave its policy on hold after a series of measures to ease strain on the banking system in its uh, previous meeting. Uh, but the UK's Monetary Policy Committee could signal uh, an intention to expand its asset mer uh, purchase program on its uh, next meeting in February, which coincides with the expiry of its uh, existing uh, scheme of QE. So it's something to certainly look forward to, but obviously on Thursday is going to be the key levels of uh, what, if any, um, uh, news that comes up, the MPC or the ECB. So they're the two real highlights of the week. Trade balance data for November from Germany is was due out on Monday, and uh, as we saw there on Monday, uh, the German figures really um, held no real surprises, and uh, to show a stable surplus, surplus of 12.6 billion, industrial production for November was also due out and expected uh, to remain a flat on the month, and um, German GDP figures were out for the fourth quarter in uh, of 2012, published on Wednesday as you can see here, and, uh, and expected to show a decline of 0.4%. Overall, uh, GDP expansion uh, for the year is 3%. Uh, French industrial production for November is due out tomorrow and Tuesday, and is poised to start to decline in line with uh, the impact of the Eurozone crisis on domestic demand. Having uh, steady, uh, held steady in October, it's, it's set to fall at 0.5% month on month. 
France is a bit of a funny one at the minute, I must admit. There's lots of rumours going on about uh, market ratings from Fitch and S&P. And uh, although it's still escaped uh, Fitch and S&P's uh, rating, it's still uh, the murmurs and the rumours are always there. And one certainly has got to be uh, careful. Uh, you know, if, if any downgrade does come to France, uh, you know, obviously it will have a, a profound impact on these markets. So, um, unfortunately, very much as we left last year, you're always going to have this sort of uh, flat period as we're seeing possibly today in, on a Monday to a, a more of an erratic period when uh, when someone from the Eurozone really uh, speaks out. And as we've seen from the figures, America seems to be doing better, but um, December's retail figures. Uh, which uh, which were actually out. I uh, looked to set to rise two percent from November, with uh, sales from chainsaws up five four and a half percent uh, after a stronger holiday period. If I just go to that. The U.S. retail sales. So hopefully we look for a better uh, a core and a retail sales sector there. Um, and the U.K.'s trade balance just to finish things off uh, on Wednesday could reveal an increased deficit of 2.3 billion in October, uh, up from 1.6 billion in October. So export orders are expected to have eased back with the surge of demand for chemicals and uh, telecommunications equipments, and those will be on Wednesday at to half past nine. So. Although we're back into the swing of things, just having a look at the markets as they stand, as you can see, it's a fairly, stra uh, fairly flat start to the year, not much in terms of any movement. Uh, interesting to note, FTSE is really uh, flirting around the 200-day moving average, and so really most of the other move, um, indicators uh, of the other bourses uh, are following suit. So... We'll see how uh, this year and what it brings. Um, although the, the latest uh, news that's come out of America seems to be bullish, the market's not exactly uh, reflecting that. So um, we'll see how things come back uh, this weekend. Uh, hopefully happy trading to you guys, and we'll, uh, we'll come back uh, again next week. Thank you very much.